Alright, everyone, welcome back to the Pony at a Complete Journey. I'm Psychosaurus. And last time we did get a lot further than I would actually expect. Okay, we are somewhere. Hopefully, we'll see Cletus soon. And hopefully, it's gonna be Cletus. We've been through a lot, haven't we? I bet your fiance isn't half the daredevil I am. Huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no way. I've laid her down on a bed of roses. Well, rose hips, to be precise. Oh, yeah. The gentle touch of nature's itching powder. <laughs> a one fish of the day, please. <laughs> Ugh, I should have said which day. <laughs> No, I still have some. We got some anchovy. These lamps must be of some significance. I just know. Sure. So we got some switches. Oh, this selects the flavor of the cotton candy. Huh, seems to be broken. I'm sure I have to solve this lever problem first. I know how things are going down here. Sure. One serving of cotton candy, please. I suppose the machine has no ears and no eyes. Otherwise, it'd be able to see who it's dealing with. <laughs> hey, there's something behind it. What the... A plug! Oh, man. Not really. You crazy? It can't be that easy. Ah! <laughs> it was that easy? <laughs> really? One serving of cotton candy, please. I suppose the machine had no eye. Huh, I think some kind of stick has to go in there. Machine, create a new flavor from this. I hate gadgets that only do what they were designed for. These lamps must just be... Now it's set to calzone. Calzone? Now it's set to phosphor. To neutral. The neutral. Others. The switches change the lights. There are three on this side and one on the other. Hmm. Whoopsie daisy. Aha! One off, two on. I'm getting there. Three and three. That's six, isn't it? Binary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chewing gum and fast. What? Hmm. I want chewing gum. Huh. Voice control seems to be broken. That's the entrance to the candy shop. After Dad left me, I lived there for a week. Or was it an hour? <laughs> Time passes so slowly when you're high on sugar. There's a mount for the torch in the niche. There are mirrors around it to focus the light. That can only mean one thing, or nothing. One or zero.
there's a mount for the torch. There are mirrors around it. That can only mean one thing. Or yeah. the mosaic depicts waving people and a farewell party with barbecued sausage and loads of white confetti. No, no, that's just my blood circulation because I'm trying so hard. I need more light. <laughs> The only light back here. I believe there's a tool that was specifically designed to remove dirt. At least, I think Tony once mentioned something like that. Only mud? That's all I can make out. So again, some cleaning. Some pebbles. R U F U. That wasn't it. Maybe this? R U. Nah, I've tried that. But what else could it be? <laughs> Time is on my side. Today, I'm gonna leave Deponia. Huh. The clock stopped. <laughs> huh. The clock stopped. But that will not stop me. Does anything work here at all? I wonder. Well, this alone won't do for mopping. I also need Tony, or at least some water. <laughs> you need Tony? It's water because it's green. <laughs> or is it some kind of special water? Is this acid or water? Just water. Okay. Okay. I guess soap. Mmm. Foamy. Yes, we can do the cleaning then. Pretty deep and bright. Might be the nuclear reactor down there. Oh. Yeah, that would really be super cool. But as long as nobody's watching, it would be a total waste of effort. I am watching. Come on, man. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Some platypus. What? I'll save my tele... I'll save my telekinetic powers for... I'll save my... What? I guess I have to get rid of the water so I can actually go through there. Hmm. That's gonna be fun. So it seems that's that's all actually. Otherwise. So yeah, let's do the cleaning then. Okay, let's clean it. I can't 
can't believe I'm doing this. I hope the historians will never learn about this bit. He's doing it again. <laughs> Crap, the mop broke. <laughs> what an unfortunate occurrence. A bunch of trash crabs in a strip club. There's the dancing pole, and some crabs over there, and there's the cocktail sauce. And hey, 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 someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. Saucy. Could be something else, though. I need more light. Yeah. There's a mount for the torch in the niche. There are mirrors around it to focus the light. That can only mean one thing. Or nothing. One or zero. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. This at least is where it's not going. The pieces are falling into place. Very slowly, they do. Well, will you believe that? The stone won't stick. What now? A piece of glass is missing. Mm. Well, you are the stick, so I can use you to get the candle. It said phosphorus, right? I'm gonna try something. Now it's Come on. Now it's set to fossil. This says the circumference of the to be cotton candy stick may not exceed 2.0 millimeters. The to be cotton candy stick. <laughs> Who hired that guy? Damn, I gotta make it shorter or get rid of the anchovy. where I get confused. Great. I got a pebble. Maybe I can use it on the crane? I'll save my telekinetic. One step closer and mayhem will ensue. I'd rather spare them the pain. I'll save my... T I'll save my... Can't do anything. What's gonna happen? This alone won't do for mopping. I also need, well, to be in the mood and soap. But this alone won't. I also well, to and. Hmm. One step closer. I'd rather. I'll save my. T I'll save my. I'll save my. T I'll save my. T I don't have to fish in small bodies of water. My old boots are still in perfect working order. One step, I'd rather... In you go! Well, it works. Huh. Although they're dead, they're holding on tight to the stick. Strange. Ah. Uh -huh. If I start using every single pebble with everything else in my inventory, I'll never reach Elysium. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. This at least is very slow. I prefer explosive bait when fishing. The anchovies have already been I can smell the soap. One step clad wrap I'll save my t No, don't! 
You'll hit the reactor and there'll be a nuclear time loop. How can I prevent that from happening? You can't. One of us has to sacrifice himself. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn. Cool. What <laughs> just happened? What? <laughs> the time loop. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. <laughs> at least, at least it was not me, right? I'll save my telekinetic. I'm getting hungry again. I didn't notice this. I'll save my. No. I'll save my. I'll save my. Hmm. I'll save my. Sure. There's nothing to do otherwise. A crane with a magnet. What do you know? Hmm. What else can I do? Huh. The mosaic. A group of trash crabs in a. with cocktails and colorful twisted straws. Or it doesn't. It's hard to make out any detail. So I need some light. I need. Why bother? It's a shard all. If I start using. No. Mm. Fresh chewing gum is no fun. You can't stick it anywhere. Fresh chewing you can't chewing gum doesn't stick to fish. This insight cost me my fishing license. If I start using No, the chewing gum isn't sticky enough yet. It's too dry. Oh it's too dry. So nothing there. Okay. Is it on the water? I should try that at the pond. That's much more fun. Pond? No, don't! You'll hit the reactor and how can I... You... Rock, paper, scissors. Damn. Cool. <laughs> yeah, this is funny. <laughs> but you want it wet, but how am I supposed to... I'll save my... How am I supposed to do it if you won't let me wet it? Very slow. Hmm, I have a projectile. All I need is a weapon to use it with. A weapon? All the good fish. I'm not leaving it for the maggots. Ha! There they come, already cheering. No, just a minute. They're declining. Cute. I need some light, I guess. Hmm. Huh. But that will not. I need a weapon for this. What kind of, kind of weapon are you talking about? What if I calculate cross totals? I'll get there eventually. They're all prime numbers. I've had that before. It's impossible that these levers don't have any significance. It's simply impossible. Now it's set to new. Now it's 
set to count up. Machine, create. I hate gadgets that only do what they were designed for. This says the circumference of the 2B cotton candy stick may not exceed the 2B cotton candy stick. <laughs> My old boot. Yeah, I'm confused. In you go. Huh. Although they're dead, right? I should try that at the pet much more. Fun. I should try that. That's much. No, don't. You'll hit the react. How can I? You can't. Rock, papers. Damn. Cool. I'll save my... T I'll save my... I'll save my... Once, I'd rather... S I'll save my... I'll save my... I'll save my... T I'll save my... I'll save my... so far I should try that that's much more no duck you'll hit how you can rock paper yeah. Damn. cool yeah that would really be but as long as nobody's watching it would This mosaic is already complete. Sometimes I solve puzzles so fast I don't even register it myself. This mosaic sometimes... This mosaic sometimes I... The stone could be from here. Now I need more light. The stone... Now I need... No, I need more. You need more light. Aha! Uh -huh. The pee very slow. Hmm, I have a pre All I need is. If I start. If I start. Why? It's a shard all. If I start. You if I start. If I start. Never! This Isle of Destruction is my present to posterity. How else should historians be able to. Never! This Isle of Destruction, how else? Whoopsie daisy! Never! This Isle of How else? If I start you fresh chewing gum is you can't stick it in. The anchovies I can smell. Machine. I hate not to criticize, but you could use some gum, babe. This here is mine, but I'm sure I can find another one for you. We've been through a lot. I bet you're... Huh. 
Gold, I'm worried about you. You have to eat. Oh boy, I could do with the bite myself. Ah, that's better. Oh, we got a steak. Are you hungry? Well, I'm sorry. I only have these anchovies left, and I need the... Now it's set. This says discard cotton candy leftovers according to hazardous waste regulations. Ah, and a winking smiley emoticon underneath. And there I was beginning to get worried. Wow, the cotton candy simply imploded. the fixture. To shed light on the mosaic, the cotton candy would have to be on fire or something. Huh. A group of in a... with cocktails and colorful twisted straw? Or it's hard to make out any... Cotton candy isn't glowing bright enough. No, this calls for handiwork. The stick fits it to shed light on the mosaic. The cotton candy would have to be on fire or something. Maybe this could sweeten my task, but more likely it'll just make it. Hmm. Maybe this could spot more. <laughs> Chewing gum can never contain too much sugar. I should have switched this with Tony's dental floss. Maybe this could sweet but more. Maybe this could spot more. Are you hungry? Well, I'm sorry. I only have these anchovies left. Okay, so I get only one stick. And I have to do something with it. My epic Gregorian choir is back. I thought I'd left that behind at the crane. Nice. Here we go. A piece of glass. Well, will you believe that? The stone won't stick. What now? Well, will you believe what now? Huh. The mosaic depicts the cable boat leaving Deponia, just like I will be doing soon. And 
Hey, hey, hey! Someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. At least, it's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Crap. Really? So I need that piece to actually finish You can read in the dark on the toilet after eating that. So I need to finish this mosaic to get the password. Great. What about me? Huh. The mosaic depicts the upper class leaving the planet. The lower class remains behind. Whoa, those guys are really fed up. They shout at the traitors and shove barbecue lighters and sausages on giant forks in their faces. Must have been barbecue Thursday. <laughs> Depicts uh, a bunch of little guys. They seem to be building something. The raggedy clad little guys carry giant steel girders up a steep ramp. The fancily clad ones stand at the side and design fancy ornaments. Hey, that's the Ascension Station, the departure to Elysium. And I'm there too. class leaving the planet. Okay, now what then? So I know I need a piece. Where do I get it? Pretty deep and bright might be the nuclear reactor down there. I'll save my tele one step close I'd rather I'll save my I'll save my I'll save my Wow I should try that at the that's much more to throw stones should not go blow dough on a glass house. None of the lights have been smashed. That can't be a coincidence. None of the lights have that can't be a none of the light that can't be That's the entrance to after was it an app <laughs> time path? Come on, be useful. Stubborn thing. Fresh chewing gum is no fun. You can't stick it anywhere. That doesn't need any chewing. Fresh chewing gum. You can't. Fresh chewing gum. You can't. Fresh chew. You can't. Never. This Isle of Dist. How else? And 
Cotton candy would have to glow in the dark to be useful here, but the only thing it's capable of is tasting bland. Eh, it'll be a piece of candy to solve this puzzle. I guess the eye has to dine out tonight if it wants to be pleased. <laughs> right, sugar in the tank is always fun, but this elevator might get me to Elysium. I can't see whether it's full or not. Plus, I don't have a match to shed light on the bottom. Too bad. But you have the mobile handle. Nah, my coat has enough oil stains. I want to look cool when I parade into Elysium. Nah, my coat... I want to... Okay, let's get the phosphorus one again. Cotton. Just water. I'll save my. I'll save my. I'm getting hungry again. I'll save my. Calzone. Now it's set to phosphor. Simply imp What if I calculate? I've had that before. What if I calculate? What if I calculate? I've had that before. They're all prime numbers. I've had that before. They're all prime numbers. They're all prime numbers. I have to think binary. Not necessary. None of the lamps can be that can't be a coincidence. None of the lamps. Their initials are in the order of the alphabet. That can't be a coincidence. Their initials are in the order of the alphabet. That can't be a coincidence. Their initials are at can't be. None of the lights of this that can't be a coincidence.
No. This... A piece of... Well, will you believe that? The stone won't stick. What now? Well, the chewing gum isn't sticky enough yet. It's too dry. Fresh chewing... You can't... Okay. So you need to... Well, the chewing gum isn't sticky enough. It's too dry. Fresh chewing... You can't... Nah, my coat has enough. I want to. <laughs> right. Sugar in the tank is always. But. <laughs> Sugar. But. What? Oh no, that's you. I was like, damn, yeah, there's something behind. No way. That doesn't lead anywhere. I... Hmm. This is so weird. Don't get me wrong, but you stink so bad, in fact, that not even soap and water will help. I love a woman who appreciates my straightforward ways. I could make a mobile for you, like my father used to, from pointy stones, shards, and barbed wire. If you have such a glittering thing hanging over your bed, you don't want to get up anymore. mobile for you from the point if you have none of the light can't be a cool not to criticize but you could use some job this here is mine but I'm sure I can find Are you hungry? Me too. Fortunately, there's enough food here for the both of us. Oh, I don't have to go there. Now it's set. Are you hungry? Me too. Fortunately, there's enough. Now it's set. I feel like I have to do something with the Kelso. What? Are you hungry? Me too. Fortunately, eh, it'll be a piece of the lamps are illuminating the cotton candy. That can't be a coincidence. The lamps are that can't be. Fish with dynamite and sun. No, I still have. To. So I had to look. I need. What do you want with the chewing gum? I can't put it into the pool.
I'll save my tell. One step close. I'd rather. I'll save my. I'll save my. Oh. I'll save my tell. Oh come on. I'll save my. Wow. The I don't have to fish in small. My old boots are. I don't have to fly old. I'll save my. One step. I'd rather. I'll save. I'll save. I'll save my. What am I missing? No, the chewing gum is too dry. I should try that at the pond. That's much more fun. No, don't! You'll hit the reactor and there'll be a nuclear time loop! How can I prevent that from- You can't! Rock, paper, scissors. Damn! Cool! One step- I'd rather- I'll save my- I'll save my- I'll save- I should try- That's much- I should- That's much- Anybody else gets the feeling of missing something? I'll, I'll save my. I'll, I'll save my. I'll save my. I'll save my. I'll save my. I'll save. I'll save my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just the powers. If you only had some. This is weird. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do. So I feel the pebble. He who likes to throw stones should. He who likes. Sure. Something that I would miss. He who likes to throw stones should not go blow. Huh, I have a. All I need is a weapon. If I start using. Eh, it'll be a piece of candy. Alright, I swap to sticks. <laughs> Why bother? It's a shard already. Eh, it'll be a piece of. If I start using. Fresh chewing gum. You can't stick it in. No, the chewing gum isn't sticky. It's too dry. All right. The anchovies have already been. I can smell. The only light. likes to throw Nah, my coat has an I want Nah, my coat I want Nah, my I want What? Oh. Greasy mop. Okay, what can I do with this? Yeah, no, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would I need this for? Hmm. We're getting somewhere, but where? Ah! 
Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 Right. We can do with some more oil. Nom 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 nom. Yeah. Why bother? It's a shark. Yeah. No. This one. Ugh. I wonder what Cletus's pillow looks like. What? Whoopsie daisy. Yeah. No. This one. Ugh. What? Try that at the pond. That's much. No, don't. You'll hit the re. How can I prevent that? You can't. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn. Cool. I'll save my. I'll save my. I'll save my. I'll save. My, I'll save. My. One step close. I'd rather. I'll save my. Why bar? It's a sh. Whoopsie day. Right. No. Yeah. No. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Why is there no reaction to the chewing gum? What a mess. Usually the horn is on the hood, and not two cars down the road. Impossible. Come on, be useful. Stop it, thing. Not necessary. All the good fish. I'm not leaving it for the maggot. Ha! There they come. No, just cute. Want some fish? Hey. You're the one who's dispensing the stuff, remember? Machine, create. I hate it. Ah! One of the lamps, that can't be a coincidence. One of the lamps reeks of fish. That can't be. None of the that can't these lamps must be I just need to It's impossible, it's simply It's impossible, it's simply get there eventually. These lamps must be I just need None of the lamps can be used with the stick. That can't be a coincidence. Come on, be used. Stop it. Say, ah. Uh, 
great. Oh, great. Now my hands are smeared with slimy fish from me. Ugh, no. Come on, be useful. throws he who like he who likes to throw he. one pre shoot gum very good that's how you get it what yeah no Sorry. oh my god are you kidding me Someone has scribbled something. It must be the password. At least, it's written right over the... Exactly where a piece... Now, we'll have to use some extraordinary dexterity. There are still more pieces. Well, no problem. I'll have that solved in no time. So we have a puzzle here. Okay. Ooh. 
Why doesn't this fit? I guess I'll just have to press harder. Still not right. <laughs> I'll get there. Go in! Go in! Damn thing! You're supposed to... Oops. Uh-oh. What about the elevator code now? Damn it. Ooh. The system reboots. <laughs> the code for the elevator has been reset. Here comes the new one. <laughs> Something really cool. R U F U S. Oh yeah. Huh. Now the shard is hopelessly destroyed, but the chewing gum still looks all right. But it's no better than it was before. Okay, so now we can go to the elevator. Great! Making progress! R U F U S. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? The password is Rufus. I've said it myself. Or have I gone crazy? so good. Now I just have to wait. Hmm? What's that sound? An Organon cruiser? What are they doing here? Is this a trap? Is Cletus an ally of the Organon? Well, I guess I'll have to take a closer look to find out. What a beauty! Strong, sturdy, and apart from a few bruises, in an overall excellent condition. Oh yes, reflections in windows are great. <laughs> and why not? I see, the ascension code. That's what the catch was. They'll greet me with a ticker tape parade in Elysium and confetti. Oh boy, I love confetti. I've never been so close. Whoa. This ornament is different from the others. How very likable. that this Rufus character is naive enough to bring your fiancé here. Absolutely. He's a self-centered, greedy rat. The expectation to get to Elysium will lure him here. A greedy rat? Why, that lousy... I really don't understand what you see in this woman, Cletus. As far as I'm concerned, she's simply an unpredictable risk for our joint venture. Believe me, after everything she did, I'd prefer to leave her behind on Deponia too. But I need the Ascension Codes to return to Elysium. And unfortunately, those codes are only stored in her brain implant. No goal, no Ascension Codes. And without Ascension Codes, there's no joint venture. I don't like it. Ulysses will have us both executed if he finds out that your companion is... Shush. Here he comes. Annie's bailiff! 
Report! There's still no trace of the Deponian, Prime Controller. Uh, sir. Then what are you waiting for? Carry on with your search. Even through this drone, the stench is unbearable. At last, it's time to put our plan into action. Yes, as you wish, Prime Controller, sir. <coughs> Let's get to work. The faster we're done here, the better. I entirely agree. I'll have a look around the platform to see if this Rufus has already arrived. You'd better stay in the background. We can't risk that rat bailing out on us before we have the Ascension code. Wait a minute. That Cletus guy. He looks just like me. Maybe not as attractive as me, but how can that be? And I don't like what they were talking about. I didn't get everything they said, but... They're certainly up to no good, and I can never allow gold to fall into the Organon's hands. First, I'm gonna have a word with this Cletus. Shunk help him if he tries to deceive me. If I remember correctly... Father left for Elysium, right? Greasy hairdo, ugly cape, and stiff collar. What does Gold see in this wuss? Maybe something with his father? Cletus, Rufus, finally, I face you. Rob, it's me facing you. That's what you think. I was facing you at least three seconds earlier. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. Enough with the discourtesies. Where is Gold? She's safe. Well, that's just perfect. Genius. No, you're the genius. We had a deal. You were supposed to bring Gold to me, and then I'd have taken you to Elysium. No Gold, no deal. So what now? So, the deal is still on. Only if you keep your side of the bargain. And you, yours. Ladies first. Grrr. Why should I trust you? Why should I trust you? I ask first. What's the agreement between you and the Organon? Well, why shouldn't I just tell you? Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia, boom. Boom? Yes, boom. The whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast? Of course they do. We placed the order years ago. What do you think the Organons do all day? Delouse their mechanical beards? <laughs> Uh, what will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, scientifically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Mm, theologically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the surface was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, rumors started to appear. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia, they said. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And now, guess who this inspector is? Uh... I am, you troglodyte! I see. Oh. One thing that I don't understand, besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, why didn't the Organon report that there are people on Deponia? They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose customs duties, they block trading routes, and they steal babies in the northern quadrant, which uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses had his reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay, that means that Deponia won't be blown up. Right? No, wrong. Ulysses explained it to me, and we've come to an agreement. My report to the elders will state that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Deponia will be blown up after all. Do you have any problems with that? I mean, what's it to you? <laughs> You'll be safe in Elysium when that happens, won't you? Well, you do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but... Blow up Deponia? 
That seems a bit extreme. I mean, okay, it stinks. It's not really a looker. It's not really a place for someone like me. But I know a few people who are attached to this pile of junk, which might have something to do with the fact that huh, they live here and all. I mean, I'll admit, they are all idiots who wouldn't even recognize a hero if he happened to set fire to their cabbages. But blow it up. Yes, blow it up. Demolish, cremate, eradicate. Just like that. Whoa. I don't care at all, but Goal won't like it. Well, you're not wrong with that assumption. Goal has proven herself to be a risk, but that's been taken care of. What's that? That is a consciousness cartridge. To be precise, it's a memory backup of Goal's personality. I knew that. Goal's whole character is stored on it, including all her memories, up until she first laid eyes on Deponia and its inhabitants. She will never know what happened here. May I? Hands off! That's not a toy! But it's sparkling. <laughs> I think I've missed something here. But you haven't missed that Deponia is about to be blown up, have you? Yeah, yeah. Boom, and so on. And that I have to inspect Deponia on orders from Elysium to examine rumors about life on the surface. Yes, got that too. And will I tell them the truth? No! You'll keep your mouth shut about life on Deponia, so that Deponia will get blown up anyway. Ho-ho! Oh, bravo! You really did understand everything. Yes! Oh boy, am I good! I'm so incredibly good! <laughs> oh. Well, I will never let that happen. Well, in that case, we don't have a deal. Too bad. You would have liked life in Elysium. Let me just quickly contact the Organon, so that they can... No, 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 wait a minute. I wasn't finished yet. I'll never let that happen is something that somebody somewhat attached to Deponia would say. I, on the other hand, uh... All right, great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh, yes. How much do you hate Deponia? I deserve better. That I highly doubt. <laughs> there are only idiots living here. And you're living proof of that. There's nothing but trash around here. Yes, company included. It stinks. Well, your deodorant does that too. My what? What? <laughs> Okay, let's just say I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. Say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The wash basin is leaking, the toilet overflows, the fridge is empty, and the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months? And then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, tidy up for once, get it into your thick skulls. The whole planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash. We eat junk. You want me to get my ass into gear? You can wash my ass disappear. I'm going where potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds. What can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway? Be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town? The job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want? Count me out. You hear me, dad? Count me out. And you know something else? I hope you fell into a manure tank. I'll wave goodbye when I pass you on my way to Elysium. Look at me. Who's the filthy little litterbug now? Huh? Who's the litterbug now? <sighs> okay. You really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? <laughs> Why do you bear such a striking resemblance to me? You've got that wrong. You bear a striking resemblance to me. You wish. You look more like me than I look like you. Only I am much less ugly. Oh yeah? Well, you're even much, much uglier. Oh yes, have you looked in a mirror lately? Yeah, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Same here. <laughs> stop repeating everything I say. Only if you stop repeating everything I say. But you're the one who's repeating everything I say. No, it's you. No, it's you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brrr. Brrr. 
The Organon really plans to blow up Deponia? Hmm, exactly. The whole stinking pile of rubbish. Kablooey! <laughs> do you have any problems with that? All right. Oh, yes. How much do you hate Deponia? Okay, let... Okay. I'll go and fetch gold, finally. I'll go and find it. Hands off! Damn! This guy's luggage. I bet he forgot the bolt cutter. Of course not. You never know when you have to cut through a wire fence. No. <laughs> the bolt cutter again. Did I hear a phone? If I'm putting anything at all on the flag, it'll be my logo. Five burning firecrackers with a zombie in the middle. If I start using every... I don't need light. I sort... Hey, where's my bucket? I don't need light for my inventory. I sort everything according to an infallible... Hey, where's my bucket? I have a projectile. All I need is a weapon. One step closer, and mayhem will ensue. I can't get any closer. The Organons would see me. <laughs> You're right. The password is Rufus. I've said it myself. Okay. I can't get any. The Organons... Oh yeah, ninja shuriken action. Eh, too bad the ornament has the wrong shape. But maybe I can fiddle around with it a bit. If I start... I could make a grappling hook from the ornament and the pole. Not a bad idea, but I'll wait until I really need something like that. So much area to glue, so little gum. It's hard to make a decision here. Deadly projectile weapon. Check. Oh, the gum is... Ammunition. Check. All hands battle stations! Keep calm, Argus. We're on a junk planet here. I'm rather surprised that this lamp didn't blow up earlier. Just like this whole planet should. So, please, carry on. I can't do it. It's right in the sight of the Organons. Time for another stroke of genius. Looks like an anti-scratching collar, or like the collar of Gold's fiance. I can't get any closer. The Organons would see me. I can't. The organ. Okay. I can't get the organ. The lampshade looks like that idiot's collar, and the flag looks like his cape. If only I could reach the shade. Oh! So gonna, I'll save my telecom. You're gonna pretend you're him. Okay. The handle is long enough, but I need something to pull the shade down to me.
<laughs> Together with the lampshade, the flag looks exactly like Cletus's cape. Now all that's missing is the greasy hairdo. <laughs> This will be even cooler than my old lampshade routine. I can't get it. The organ. Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Now, weren't you supposed to be waiting out on the platform? Well, I just wanted to stretch my legs for a minute. You can't really see very much from up there anyway. Somehow I don't like your attitude. Well, everyone else loves my attitude. I hope you didn't forget about our agreement. How could I? So, you do have the cartridge? Uh, yes. Well, where is it? Oop, I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> I must have left it out on the platform. Hurry up, man! Time is running out! You need to get a cartridge, okay. This is not gold. My bad. This is not gold. My bad. This is not my. Hands off! Damn! I won't need all this rub. <laughs> That's what the cat. They'll greet me with a ticker and control oh boy. Yeah, it's bright enough in here. Safe than sorry. Come on, be useful. Stubborn thing. This is not go. My bad. Hands off, damn. The Organon said something about a backup cartridge. But that is none of your business. You take me to go, and I'll take you along to Elysium. We didn't agree on anything beyond that. So I guess we won't be trading junk ball cards. No. I need the backup cartridge. Oh, I'll have to disappoint you. It won't help your lack of brain capacity, I'm afraid. I still need it. And what, pray tell, do you need it for? Goal is unconscious. What did you do? Was her implant damaged? Don't worry, she's okay. Yes, yes, okay, great. But what about the implant? Is the implant still working? I think so, yeah. What do you mean you think so? Without Goal's implant, I'll never be able to leave Deponia. So why don't you give me that damn cartridge so I can go and wake her up? Yes, yes, okay, fine. Here's the cartridge. But as soon as she's awake, you'll bring her here immediately. Understand? And God help you if the implant is damaged. You really love her, don't you? Oh, if only. Genius. <laughs> this time, I have surpassed myself. 
stop. Who go? It's me. Well? Well... The cartridge. Did you find it? Of course. Here it is. Don't panic. Where? I can hardly make out anything. And why are you lurking around in the shadows like that anyway? Come into the light where I can see you, man. I, uh... Well... But, my dear Bailiff, I beg of you a bit more courtesy. Don't forget, we're all working to reach the same goal here. Let the Ambassador pass. The faster he finds this Rufus person, and by extension the Ascension Codes, the sooner we can follow through with our mission. As you wish, sir. I do believe that the Ambassador has very well understood the seriousness of our current situation. I'm sure he is aware that he has only this one chance to retrieve the Ascension Codes. And if that fails, we'll employ our own methods of retrieving them. Isn't that right, Ambassador? Uh, of course, sir. Oh boy, that was pretty close. I think I can get rid of the disguise for now. I doubt they'll fall for that a second time anyway. Fortunately, the lamps are making the phosphor glow. I wouldn't have seen that trace in the dark, even if I had used my sonar powers. with an extra helping of phosphor. Yummy! Aha! Uh -huh. A trace! It seemed that gold was dragged toward the exit. Don't worry, babe. Rufus to the rescue! Well, free choice. Ouch! Not this one. Ouch! Oh, God! Huh. This one respects me. I'll take it. Hey, this isn't a syringe at all. <laughs> I've literally found the straw in a needle stack. Who else can claim such a thing about himself? Did you really? <laughs> must have abducted gold. No normal human being could open that with bare hands. No great in the world can hold me back. A monster must... No normal... I'll save you gold. Rufus, to...
This is a avial muff. I see the way. Wow, a real whale. I always wanted Dad to take me to the aquarium, but he was right. There was only room enough for me in that fish tank. Huh, the whale looks hungry. Oh. I've got to get through all right, but by cleaning up? Oh, there has to be a different solution. Looks like somebody doesn't want to be followed, but you're not getting rid of me that easily. I am like herpes. A cool version of herpes. I know what to do. That explains why there is... I have to get rid of it again. Wow! Okay, make it. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, it doesn't even seem to see them. Here, fishy. Huh, it. Here, f Huh, it. The cotton candy would have to glow in the dark to be useful, but the only thing it's capable of is tasting of everything at once. Here, f huh? It here, f huh? It here, f huh? It mm. new flavor: phosphorus calzoni. Awesome. Great. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, it doesn't even seem to see them. Here, f huh, it doesn't even. A battering ram would make me happier. A battering. Well, I guess the eye has to dine out tonight if it wants to be pleased. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, must be on a diet or something. Here, f huh, must be on a a battery. I thought I combined it with the Kelzone. What? This says, ah, and there I was. What? Not a ch- I'll hang on to it till my last breath. I don't need I sort- Hey! I should be more careful with- Who knows it? Yeah, that would really be super cool. And the straw would make a great snorkel. But as long as nobody's watching, it would be... Wow! I definitely need the kill zone. Fortunately, the lamp. 
lamps are making the phosphor glow. I wouldn't have seen that before. New flavor, phosphorus calzo. This is a spoked bevel? Nah, it's bright enough in here. It can see me all right. At least, it's looking in my direction like a cat that's preparing to pounce. I like cats. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, must be on a diet or something. Here, fi Huh, must be on a di A battering ram would... Not a chance. I'll hang on to it till my... Not a ch... I'll... A battering... Here, fish. Huh. It, here. Huh. It, here, fish. Huh. It, Maybe. Anchovy instead. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh. It doesn't even seem to see them. Here, huh? It doesn't even seem to see them. Yeah, light. This is supposed to be gold, but her most important memory is missing. Me. <laughs> Let there be light. There we go. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here I am behind the cracked window. <laughs> Stupid animal. Ah, oh, locked. Distrustful bunch, these pirates. A harmless trawler. The perfect disguise for pirates and slave traders. Okay, let's go in. Huh. Well, who do we have here? It's Doc. Welcome to Bozo's Trash Trawler. I'm Bozo. Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! What? I don't want to shoot you. Listen, I don't want any trouble. I'll just get my girlfriend and we'll leave. No reason to get violent. So, that's the illusion you were talking about? Doc, what are you doing here? Did this pirate kidnap you too? Don't worry, I'll save you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not a pirate, and I didn't kidnap anyone either. Well, that was easy. I haven't got much time. I need to keep the Organon from blowing up Deponia. What? Why should the Organon blow up Deponia? I, uh, no, I can't tell you uh, anymore. I'm on the track of a conspiracy of enormous proportions. I, uh, <clears throat> I can't get you involved in all this. You don't know yourself, do you? Well, that's, <laughs> that's confidential, too. All I can tell you is this. I have to find a way to wake up Goal. Well, then you've come aboard the right trawler. I know a lot about brain implants. Just like me. I guess the cartridge was damaged. Hand it over for a second. Um... Just press the eject button. Hey, keep away or you'll board the pain train. Pain train? Who do you think I am? Just wanted to help you. Yeah, whatever. Press the eject. Where is it? Uh, almost dropped it. 
Hold your horses, young man. Such a cartridge has to be handled with loving care. One scratch, and your girlfriend is nothing but organic waste. Don't worry, she's in good hands. Do you have the cartridge? Sure do. There you go. That was the complicated part, right? Stop joking and show me. Ah, yes. What's your diagnosis? Um, the battery's down? Well, in that case, there's nothing we can do. We should scrap the thing and... Wait a minute. You're just messing with me, aren't you? There's just some dust on the contact pins. That's all. Yeah, and you totally fell for it. Well, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Clean the pins and reinsert it. You mean I should dust? You sound like my ex-girlfriend. Did you scrap her, too, because her battery was down? Mm, something like that, yeah. Is the cartridge clean now? Um, I don't know. Show me. <laughs> hmm, no. Not entirely. There's still some dust. Boy, aren't we finicky today. Is there some, is some key? Hey, you've stolen my key. And you have kidnapped my girlfriend. Oh, she was not kidnapped. And I can put her back out into the cold if you prefer. And how are you going to do that all without a key? Not a problem. My door is always open. So, you shouldn't be wondering when things get stolen around here all the time. <laughs> you want me to clean it, huh? Goal's memory is stored on it. Caution advised. Hmm. Ah, well, that's just a tiny speck of dust. We'll have that cleaned up in no time. I have nothing to clean it, huh? I have nothing to clean it, clear it with it. Oh, I need something, some rocks, something. So, did you clean the contact pins yet? I'm Almost done. Hurry up! It's not good for the head if the conscience gets disconnected for too long. <laughs> Don't I know it. <sighs> I hope they know how to party in Elysium. Well, can I help in any way? <laughs> nice try, but I'm not gonna fall for it. <laughs> I'm not conning you. I... Don't even try, Blackbeard. <clears throat> if I find out you've done anything to the girl... Well... I'd never. Uh, what do you mean? She was like that when I first found her. I thought she could use a doctor. Yo-ho-ho and a bottle of rum, right? What? No. I... I thought so. I suggest a truce. Not because I'm scared of you, but out of consideration for the lady, okay? I don't even have any weapons. Are you calling me a coward? If you want to fight, you just have to say so. What's going on here? Do you even listen to what I say? Huh, I thought as much, you chicken. And remember to keep the truce. I... Oh. All right. Truce. Promise. Ha! You'd like that, wouldn't ya? But I don't give a damn about the word of a stinking pirate. How can you bear to be in this stinking pirate's den? But I've just cleaned it up. Oh yeah? Well, the rear ends of sea cows smell better than you. <laughs> hm. Maybe I'll give it another good mopping later. Ha-ha! <laughs> By Neptune's navel, to the port side! Arr! 
and don't you get in our way. You hear? You can burn and loot as much as you want later on. But right now, I need some expertise in precision engineering. Well, I've studied precision engineering. I've even had three years of... Yeah, yeah, spare me your stories about your looting expeditions, Mr. Teach. I'm dealing with a problem that can't be solved with brute force here. Uh. Arr. Arr. Release Doc. But he's booked a passage to the floating black market. Oh, yeah? And your mother has booked for two, I suppose. Hey, leave my old mother out of this. Whatever this is. Touche, Captain. Touche. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. I'm just sitting here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. There. Open. Let's get rid of the key. <laughs> really? Oh, come on. Well, what have we here? A small brush, miniature bellows, a sealed pack of hand wipes. <laughs> useless junk. I want to clean a cartridge, not refurbish a doll's house. Ah, yes. This looks much better. A steel brush. And a bottle of degreaser. I'll, uh... Leave the girly stuff. I'll, uh... Do you really? The steel brush on Gold's consciousness chip? Only if I absolutely can't avoid it. This doesn't have to be clean yet. Only if I absolutely can't... Only if I... This doesn't have to be clean yet. This doesn't have... This doesn't have to be clean. So I need one more thing. What could it be? I'll, uh... A harmless... The perf... It should be a piece. Clean up gold spray implant. It requires the master dexterity. Should be self expanding Yeah, so I'm missing one tool. I should be more careful with gold. Who knows? This is supposed to be gold, but her most important me! Take that feather duster. I use it to clean the tanks. Oh, sounds promising enough. If you can clean a tank with it, then it must work twice as well for a measly cartridge. I know what I'm doing. Oh, ugh. the duster has dusted everything with dust and. Grease spot. I'll have to give it the once over. Blah! No good. What's it supposed to be like this? Uh oh. Lint alert. Blah! No good. Hope it's supposed to be like this. Whoa! Oh god. Only if I absolutely... 
Only if I... Only if I absolutely... No good. Hope it's supposed to be like this. Oh no, this is beyond help. <laughs> good thing I still have an ace up my sleeve. Ta-da! 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 Good as new! And those scratches could have come from anywhere. So, did you clean the contact pins yet? Yep, all clean and shiny. Very good. Show me. Oh, God. Just a minute. Did this have those scratches before? What? Oh, those. I noticed them before. Inconceivable how those young ladies treat their brain implants these days, isn't it? Yes. And they don't even have to eject them from their drives, either. Inconceivable. Well, a couple of scratches. They can't be too grave, can they? Talking about grave, has someone engraved his name and a little heart on there? <laughs> you better give that back. It'll work just fine. Well, it has to. the Organon lied to us. I have to contact Cletus. Well, uh, that's almost a good idea. <laughs> Just almost, unfortunately. Your oh-so-wonderful fiancé is in cahoots with the Organon. Cletus is... what? Ah, uh, my head. Maybe you should sit down first. But I'm already sitting. Don't worry, baby. I'll explain everything. I saved you. I can hardly remember anything. Not even how I saved you from the clutches of the Organon? There was this conveyor belt. And hey, you were there too. You were operating those levers. Or how I nursed you back to health. I, I remember a, a stinging taste on my tongue. And how I carried you halfway around the planet. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a crane? Well, obviously, you don't remember anything. Be that as it may, you can thank me later. <laughs> oh, don't <don't> speak. <laughs> that happened. Oh, man. Your implant was malfunctioning. Your fall from the Organon cruiser damaged it. The Organons pushed me off the cruiser? Well, yes. Thank junk, I could fix everything. Actually, it was me who supervised the repairs. Yeah, of course you did, Gramps. <laughs> Everyone wants a slice of acknowledgement. And now everything's all right, and now everything's all right, and now everything's all right again? Exactly. Cletus is a traitor. He's collaborating with the Organon. Of course he is. The Organon is our escort on our reconnaissance mission. Yes, uh, of course, but somehow Ulysses has convinced him to falsify his report. He'll advise the Council of the Elders to blow up Deponia. Despite the planet being inhabited, the monster... Exactly! The Organon wants to destroy Deponia. I know that. That's why Cletus and I came here, to see if Deponia was really uninhabited. But people do live here, and Ulysses wants to hide the fact, so that he can blow up Deponia anyway. We must stop him at all costs. Uh, I agree. You've been kidnapped by a pirate. How often do I have to repeat myself? I'm a garbage dealer. I just wanted to help. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. He won't hurt you. Of course I won't. Why would I do that? You see? I'm protecting you. Enough talking. We have to prevent the Organon from destroying Deponia. It'd be best if you took me along to Elysium. Then we could tell your people the truth, and everything will be fine, right? Right. Uh, for real? You're taking me along? To Elysium? Why wouldn't I? All we need is a perfect plan. Huh. <laughs> Hey, you're talking to the right man. Perfect plans are my specialty. Okay, shoot!
We should set a trap for Argus. Preferably, we'll dig a pit first, and then we'll camouflage it with some mud, and then we'll sound the alarm. And while you sit on the adjacent hill, dressed as a giraffe... Wouldn't it be easier to pass you off as Cletus? You bear a striking resemblance to him. Well, I don't know. My body is much better toned. We'll overpower him and go back to Elysium together. Oh, that could work. It's a good thing I thought of that. And what about us? Oh, you... Don't worry. When Elysium is informed that there's still life on Deponia, they'll call the demolition off. Yeah, and we'll be on Elysium. We'd be heroes. And everybody will be happy. Exactly. Well, what are we waiting for? Ah, uh, you doing all right? <laughs> Never better. I have never been better. Never been better. Never been better. Never been better. Better. Thanks for everything, Rufus. Ah, oh, not a problem. But we're not in Elysium yet. Let's hurry, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. That's right. That. Okay, let's go. Ah, you never bet. I have never, never been, never been, never better. Thanks for everything. Ah, not a problem. We're not in Elysium. Let's hurry, okay? <laughs> and his officials. Quick, take cover. Again, we are searching for a Deponian male and a tall Elysian female. We found their traces, so we know that they must still be nearby. If you find them, arrest them at once. The Elysian must not be eliminated. The Deponian, on the other hand, may. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, I guess I'm too much of a threat to them. Why? Is he too much of a threat to us? No, don't worry. He's just in our way. Hey. Get to work, men. There must be someone in the compound. Keep an eye on that gate. Don't let them escape. They obviously have no idea who they're dealing with. Stay down. I'll show them the meaning of who's just in our way. Go get them, Tiger. Only two of them? Why, that's almost an insult. I hope Gold is watching this. This is something that I'll only do once. Ow! What was that? Did you hear that too? Sounded pretty miserable. Yes, it did. Well, I don't think we need to be frightened of an animal that makes sounds like that. It's probably physically challenged. <laughs> Crap. As long as the top is down, I can't make out anything here. I'll save my telecat. I'll save my... T I'll save my... T I'm getting hungry again. I'll save my... T Oh, as long as the top is down, I can't make out anything in here. She's too far away, but I can read her lips. You can make it. What do you mean, fake it? Fake what? <laughs> I'll save my time. Ow! I'll save my time. As long as the top is down, I can't make. Ow! Ow! As long as the top is. Ow! I'll save my. T nah. I'll 
save my tel- I'll save my- Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Living dead. <laughs> the bone shattering honking will knock them out cold. Ugh, which brings us to plan B. What a mess. Usually the horn is on the hood and not <laughs> the bone. Which brings What was that? Meow. No, that was not a cat. That was something big. A cow! A cow must be entangled in this pile of junk. So it would seem. Sh stupid animal. Ooh, it's a good thing I'm always thinking on my feet. <laughs> no, forget it. There's nothing there. Finally, I can get over there without it squeaking. I'll save my tel- <laughs> How incredibly stupid. They'd make a great trio, but two jokers standing in my way are enough. I'll save my... I'll save my... Okay, I cannot go back there. The Organons would see... I can't get any closer. The Organons would see... Finally, I can get over there without its... That's bright enough in here. That's bright enough. That's bright. I'll save my. Wait, then what? What do I do? Only two of them? Why? That's almost an insult. Only two? Why that? Only two of them? Why that? Yeah. She's too far away, but I can... You can make it! What do you mean, fake it? Fake what? Okay, I cannot get down. Then what do I do? I don't need light for... I sort everything! Hey, where's my buck? Maybe this could sweeten my t but more like I should be more careful with goals. Who knows if there's they'd make it but two Now I hear it too. Hello? Hello who's there? You're paranoid 2017. Who damn critter? What was that? Don't forget it, there's nothing there. I can't get any the organ. The second cartridge should remain my secret for now. Now I hear. Hello, who's that? You're paranoid, 2 0. <laughs> that wasn't half bad. Hey, 
Half bad is my second name, babe. Stop calling me that. Oh, come on. We need to hurry. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus, accompanied by my charming fiancé, Go. Finally, I was afraid she'd already eloped with that disgusting deponium. What a bizarre thought. Oh, contraire, Buttercup. Don't be afraid to admit that you did cast a covetous eye on that, <laughs> Rufus. Very understandable. To me, he seemed like a dashing daredevil. On the contrary, honey bunny. He was nothing more than a self-centered fool. That's enough! You two will have enough time to frolic once we've returned to Elysium. Oh yeah, finally, final, um, fi final, fi final preparations for our return have been made. Very well. Now, I need to talk to you in private, Ambassador. Uh, of, of course. Why don't you scuttle on ahead, darling? Me and the bailiff have urgent matters to discuss. <laughs> Seemingly. B but... Shoo shoo, sugar. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> so we'll see each other in a short while then. Toodaloo. Have you lost your mind completely? I thought we had an agreement. The memories of Ms. Gold must be deleted. And we need the Ascension codes. Don't panic. I'm working on it. I'll swap the cartridges and uh, leave the original on the platform. That, that, that should make everyone happy, right? Yes, everyone except for the Deponians. <laughs> if you try anything funny, I'll personally decapitate you with a rusty knife. <laughs> Cletus, I've seen them with my own eyes. I already told you. Ulysses is right. We can't... Am I interrupting? Rufus, finally, I was about to throw this ignorant idiot from the tower. Don't ask me why I fancied him in the first place. What are you doing, Rufus? I thought we had an agreement. Think again, Cletus. I'll go to Elysium with gold. <laughs> This is a joke, right? Please go, tell me that this is a joke. It's not a joke. Rufus will come to Elysium with me. He'll help me to tell everyone the truth about Deponia. Ha <laughs> ha! And you really believe they'll grant someone like him access to Elysium? Why not? Everyone will think it's you. Him? Don't make me laugh. Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. Do I have to get angry first? Are you threatening me? Listen, bub, I've got the third ascat in the art of shwekhulu. Yeah, just like I do. Oh yeah, what's your dojo? Uh, five? Five? I mean, uh, yellow. Fire? Capricorn? Ocelot? Damn. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. <laughs> Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass from me. Look at the way he dresses. Disgusting. You two go ahead and sort it out between you. But... Rufus? <laughs> and you're planning to elope to Elysium with a wimp like that? Don't make me laugh. At least Rufus knows how to treat a woman well. Oh, you mean right after he's bludgeoned her with a club. What have we here? A second disguise. Let's see who's the better Cletus. Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet are twice the size. Yeah, well... Almost as good as my handmade disguise. Ha <laughs> ha! The inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot. Cats. I'll put my stuff here for now. Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet are twice the size. 
All right, that's enough. Rufus is miles ahead of you. <laughs> so this is the wimp you want to replace me with. Don't make me laugh. Give it up, Cletus. What's this? You're unleashing your lice upon me. Don't make me laugh. Do I have to get angry first? Are you threatening me? Listen, bub, I've got the third ass cap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh... Fuck. I mean, the fire Capricorn? Damn. <laughs> Don't make me... Don't make me... I already... I already told... Besides, that doesn't sound even... I think you don't quite a good impression. <laughs> Be that as it may... This one-man flea circus will never pass for me. He can try and put on my clothes all he wants and infest them with bugs. There is still one thing where I'm completely different. Oh, my... Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> my birthmark, you dumbass. What are you doing? Ouch! Wait. No, don't! <laughs> ha! Ha <laughs> Yeah! We did it! We really did it! Towards Elysium! Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? What? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Let's go. To Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want to get to Elysium, whatever the cost. Me? No! What a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Goal. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. No. He hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief, and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup cartridge, just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Goal, don't. Goal, listen. You don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus, I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for yet a third time. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Brother! What next? Argus! About time, too! Get me down from here! Why should I? From the start, you've been jeopardizing our plans, Cletus. Rufus, on the other hand... You can't be serious! You're not saying you trust this lying rat more than me! Why not? He is indeed a lying rat. Hey. But that's what makes him the perfect man for the job. He'll be celebrated as a hero in Elysium, and he'll get the girl. He'll get everything he ever dreamed of. Do you really think he'd risk all that just to save his home that he loathes so much? He's not man enough to do that. Once Goal sees his true self, he'll lose everything he tried to achieve. He'll never take that risk. Congratulations, Rufus. You did it. Just insert the backup cartridge and you can leave. Elysium awaits you. Do you want me to roll for a while? No, no. Don't worry. I know that you need to go easy on your back. And once we're back on Elysium, I'll give you a nice back roll. Okay? I guess so. Come on, don't make such a gloomy face. In a way, it's a good thing that our inspection was without results. Although, I can't remember everything. Or was there something else? Um... Come on, how about a bit more enthusiasm towards Elysium and all that? Yes? No? Um... What's wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Aren't you happy to be going back to Elysium? I am. It's just that... Well then? Towards Elysium, right? Towards Elysium? Come on. 
You can do better than that, can't you? It's a goal. Yes. Um. Well, it's like this. I'm all ears. Well. What are you stammering about? Spit it out. It's just that... You're beginning to scare me. What's wrong with you? All right, then. I'm going to tell you now, but you have to promise not to get mad. Why, Cletus? Why would I get mad at you? Calm down. Relax. Relax. Some con man erases my memory, poses as my fiancé, and almost gets me involved in a genocide, and I'm supposed to relax. I, I told you about it, didn't I? I mean, I'm the, I'm the good guy. You'll be the dead guy if you don't return my old memories. But that'd be suicide. Believe me, buddy, not doing it would be suicide. Okay, okay. And now remove... This fragment of pseudo-personality from my brain. And don't even think about inserting it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Ungrateful... Ooh, fortunately, the goal on the other cartridge likes me a bit more. If I die, you'll be sorry. Because it would have been your fault. Oh. Ugh. Lace underwear for men. <laughs> he can keep those. <laughs> Not without gold. So we need a cottage. Where is it then? Stop ogling like that. Stop. Stop ogling. And what are you going to do about it? I mean it. God have mercy on you if you run. God have mercy on you if you let me finish you boob and may God have mercy on you if you no on you To go faster. We need those codes. Yes, Bailiff. You do know what's at stake. If Ulysses had had his way, we'd all perish here on Deponia. Yes, Bailiff. Any problems here? No, Prime Controller, sir. Just a relay that short-circuited. This matter is of no concern now. I want to address the crew before we head on to Portofisco. Immediately. As you wish, Prime Controller. You heard the man. Get moving! It's now or never. <laughs> this device bears a striking resemblance to Cletus. <laughs> no time. They could be back any second. Quickly then. Hello. Surprised, are we? I bet you thought you finally made it, huh? Lady Luck loves the righteous, so on and so forth, right? Well, think again, buddy. It's almost ironic. For once in your life, you decide to do the right thing, and immediately you lose everything. <laughs> your dream turns into a nightmare. The love of your life is lost, and your home planet gone. <laughs> I would really love to pity you now, but the cable boat is ready, and the ascension codes have been entered. I don't want to let Elysium wait for me any longer. After all, they're expecting a report from me. I couldn't let it already, by the way, but how shall I put it? My back is troubling me. I don't want to do all the rowing by myself. So, hand over the cartridge. Now, Gull's memories about your failed attempt to mess with my plans should still be stored in her short-term memory. I can delete that in a minute. Hand it to me. Ha! <laughs> you wish.
What is going on here? The Organon, always on time, always reliable. I guess I owe you an apology. That rat didn't swallow your cheese, Bailiff, but I'm not an unforgiving person. Once Rufus hands over the cartridge, we'll be able to carry out our scheme as planned. Now more than ever. You heard him, Rufus. Give him the cartridge now. Come on, Rufus. Be reasonable. I will return to Elysium no matter what. You can't change that. But if you hand over the data, you'll at least have a chance at saving goal. So, what do you say? Do we have an agreement? Never. Well, I guess I'll have to row myself then. Too bad. But I should have known that your pride is more important to you than goal's life. <laughs> I bet you already figured out a nice lie to tell her when she wakes up and then realizes that you've brought her a front row seat for Armageddon. Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, no, don't waste my time. Give me the cartridge or don't. L let's talk this over. And why, Paytel? Should I listen to you? I just want the cartridge. Nothing else. Okay, you win. Here's the cartridge. <laughs> How unusually reasonable of you. <laughs> and I bet the goal would be thankful too. Unfortunately, she will never know that you even existed. My, my, my. Deponio will make such a great display of fireworks for our wedding. <laughs> Cletus? What? What happened? Um, a lot. Uh, uh, can't you remember anything at all? Of course I can remember. I... I... Um... We two were on board an Organon cruiser. We wanted to inspect Deponia, right? We're on Deponia now. Our mission is over. Did I fall asleep? There, there was an accident. You fell from the cruiser. That's why you can't remember anything. But take a look around. Deponia really is deserted. Yes, just junk. Nothing else. Come, let's go home to Elysium. We have to prepare our wedding. Yes, let's go. Well, that's that, I guess. I'll be on my way, too. The way home to Kuvak is long and I need to prepare for the apocalypse. Not so fast, Sonny. You didn't think we'd let you leave just like that. You know too much. Also, I believe you have something that belongs to us. Oh yes, the cartridge. Hmm. Give it to me. What is it? What are you waiting for? Oops. No! <laughs> so long, suckers. Get that traitor! Shoot him! Well, my friend, did you lose something? The cartridge. Uh, bravo, Prime Controller, sir. Give up, little man. See you later. No, stop! Oh, it was obvious. What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. Ah, you damn fool! Let go! Uh-oh. Uh ah. <laughs> Back so soon? That was a pretty impressive fall. And you managed to land in the pile of needles. Never seen anything like it. You have my respect. Everything all right, kid? You seem a bit stressed out. I guess he will do this no matter what.
There. The course is set. Next stop, the floating black market. Good. Great. Fine. Are you all right, Rufus? You sound all tuckered out. You didn't finish telling me what happened up there on the tower. I don't want to be nosy, but... Uh, is Deponia safe? That's out of my hands now. Now look at you startled, the brain implant cartridge has not been swapped, which was all part of the plan. A world has been rescued that he did detest, who'd have guessed, I attest, you'd have done just the same. So if you still want to force me to do stupid chores, like washing the dishes to the trash and such, you'll just prove that you haven't paid attention to what I said. The message at its course like, huzzah as a rule. Huzzah, the chorus guys rule. It must be the end of the first game then. Huh? What's this all about? Isn't that Ms. Hinkle's junk press? No, that's the junk press from my trawler. You need to help me fix it. Yeah, but it looks exactly like Ms. Hinkle's junk press from the tutorial in part one. So what? Who's going to notice? Those who played part one don't even need a tutorial. Yeah, but I bet they're gonna play it through anyway, because they just can't get enough of me. Count me out. I'm definitely not gonna suffer through this whole tutorial thing again. I mean, it was stupid enough the first time around. Ah, oh, come on. A little repetition can't hurt. Then how do you explain this blister? That is where I burned myself when I repeatedly put my hand on a hot stove. You never learn, do you? <laughs> Oh, contraire, I have a, a nearly photographic memory. Do you now? So, do you remember how to use the interface in order to talk to someone? Yes, of course. I, I, I um... Go ahead. Talk to me. Just point the cursor at me and left click as soon as the speech balloon icon appears. No prompting! Uh, talk to Bozo. You don't have to say that aloud. Hey, who's talking to you? Hello there. You clicked on me. Yeah, and I regret it already. But you see, there's nothing left here that you could teach me. You don't even know, um... How to look at an object. But I already know that. I see. And how? I point at it with my mouse cursor and right-click when the eye icon appears. Nonsense! That's not an eye. It's a ping-pong ball. With a pupil? Yeah, it's loaded. Why would they use a loaded ping-pong ball as an icon for the action examine? I'm about to demonstrate that using the small object lying on the ground over there by pointing the cursor at it and right-clicking as soon as the ping-pong ball appears. I'm holding my breath. I thought you were going to look at that thing on the floor. I can see it. It's lying there. I meant look at it more closely. Just point at it and when you see the eye on the cursor. What's that? It's the reactor lead head. But it was a cathode plunger in the last game. It's the lead head, believe me. You need it to repair the press. And how exactly am I going to do that if I can't even pick the thing up? Sure you can pick it up. Just point at it with the mouse to make the hand icon appear. Then left click to pick it up. Oh, no, this has to be easier. <sighs> huh? Where'd it go? <laughs> you put it in your inventory. You know, where all your items go. You pick the thing up. Now click on the handle in the upper right corner to open the inventory. Hey, there it is. Exactly. Now this is your inventory. I knew that. Here you can view all the stuff you're lugging around. You remember how to do that, don't you? Look here, Bozo. I fixed the part. I won't believe that until I see it in operation. I know. My handyman skills are really incredible. Oh yeah, going through the tutorial again.
We know what's gonna <laughs> happen. It fits. Next, you need to. Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. Whatever. When you're ready, you need to. Hold your horses, will ya? It's just a button. I think I can manage without your help. Rufus, don't. You're standing right under the- Don't panic. You don't think I'd fall for the same feeble gag twice. So, uh, what was that again? I pushed this button here, and then... Mm-hmm. Didn't look all that feeble to me. They came out of nowhere. With their cruisers, plasma weapons, and mechanical beards. Organized. They took our village by force. They left nothing behind but tears and devastation. They were looking for gold and Elysium, the girl that fell from the sky. And only one person was prepared to save her. He woke her up, contacted her fiance, and took her to the lower ascension station, only to learn the shocking truth once he got there. Cletus. Gold's fiance wasn't acting out of love. He had an agreement with Ulysses, the mysterious leader of the Organon, and Argus, his right hand. They needed the Ascension codes, hidden away in Gold's brain implant, and they wanted to erase her memory. They wanted to make sure no Elysian would ever know that our world is inhabited. For their goal was terrible beyond imagination. They wanted to blow up our world. But they had failed to reckon with the one. He swapped the cartridges. And he restored Gold's memory so that she could bear the truth to Elysium. The name of this one man, this selfless hero, was Rufus. Um, that wasn't the whole story, was it? That was the first part. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Sounds a bit unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably cool. But if it really all happened like that, shouldn't I be on my way to Elysium with Cletus? So what are you doing here? Where is Cletus? Why am I unable to remember any of this? And forgive me for asking, but... Why is there a burning saw blade stuck in the side of the ship? Oh, uh, that. Oh, well, I was about to get to that part. So listen up. You're being pathetic. Began about accurate bacteria in the fridge, it's getting boring. But packing bags due to dirty socks, I threw to clamshades, rim order, some anodons gone. Didn't I explicate it? Are you still not persuaded? There's cracks growing on your tympanic membrane. Remember to pull yourself, sacrifices, and oh gosh, not to start all over again. To start all over again. Trash, trash again. <laughs> 
And more trash. Isn't it adorable? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hard to imagine I ever wanted to leave here. Ah, Rufus. This is the lad I was telling you about. What? Him? From what you told me, I had imagined a smart young man, not a filthy bum. There's more to him than meets the eye. When I first met him, Rufus was still a... How shall I put this? Just say it. I was a self-indulgent slob, but I'm steadily improving. That's right. Right now, for example, he is helping Bozo to get the trawler shipshape. So I am. I was going to ask you whether I can borrow your hammer. No problem. You can take it from my toolbox over there. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. I still don't know, really. Something just doesn't seem right about that boy. But, Grandma Utz, whatever are you talking about? Hmm. <laughs> I guess we entered the second game. Oh, man. Oh. That was the first part. Yay! More fun waiting for us. But next time. <laughs> okay, thank you everyone so much for watching. If you like the video, press the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Check out any other game I've done already. Definitely, I'm looking forward for more of this game. This was Psychosaurus, and I'll see you next time. Bye!